Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today, more Christmas stuff, of course. This is going to be another documentary-ish kind of a thing we're talking about. It's from Disney Plus again. So it's, one, it's the one called Dagonite Disney Holiday Magic. So I just thought I'd just do this because it's Christmas and I've already talked about some Disney-related stuff anyway. So anyway, let's just get into it, shall we? So it's like it's like a behind the scenes kind of a thing, I guess. This originally aired in December of 2017, and this was hosted by what will be Goldberg, of course. So she's doing some good stuff here, and it said she's one of the biggest Disney fans out there. So in this festive special, it covers this kind of a thing that would pretty much an event. They will review how the holiday magic pretty much carries out alive, I guess. It comes to life, and that's on time of the year. And the Disney theme park, of course. And on the um, whole thing with the Walt Disney World Resorts and whatnot. So it's pretty much going to that kind of a thing, of course, obviously. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So, of course, there's going to be music involved, obviously, like you might expect. And that's fine. Of course, it's Disney, we're crying out loud. Of course, she's going to have some music going on. It's Disney. They're, of course, they're going to have that. But then on top of that, there's also the whole thing with it's Christmas to begin with. So you don't think about the fact that this is Christmas. So, of course, Christmas is going to have some kind of musical kind of a thing going on, obviously. I like that. This was definitely one of these things I had to talk about because it's Disney, it's Christmas. I did like how they were trying to convey this, like this vibe, how Disney is and how the holidays is. You'd be things would be pretty festive around around there and whatnot. I like that. That was good. I did like how Whoopi Goldberg was trying to interact with people and ask questions or whatever, and that was good. That's pretty much what she has to do. Trying to get in the spirit of stuff, of course, and that's definitely delightful. Obviously, so I'm. I'm gonna give you the vibe of having a lot of fun, of course, and that's fine by me. Because I mean you're getting the spirits of Christmas somehow, right? You're getting the in the hang of things, so to speak. And that's perfectly okay. I didn't mind that really, because it gives you puts, gives you in this in this festive mood, so to speak. And that's kind of the point when you think about it. It's to get in the you're going to experience stuff where, you know, everybody, everybody can sing along, everybody can sing their favorite song, of course. I like that. That's pretty cool, obviously. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I have to talk about this because that's that's the thing. And that's the thing, though. I mean, I know I talk about quite a bit of Disney-related stuff on this channel anyway. So, I just thought, it's not going to be hard to talk about a bit more, right? Of course not. But, anyway, I just thought that would be a good idea to... I want to visit Disney again here, since I've already covered quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, it comes to their their theme parks, merchandising, movies, or what have you. I guess. What? I guess I, I'm about to eventually go return to to do a Disney mar movie marathon at some point. Anyway, but so like I was saying in my previous video, it's just kind of like me trying to sneak more into this kind of a thing. Anyway, to begin with. Because I would all of, all of sooner or later talk about Disney anyway. I would have done that sooner or later anyway. But the thing is that this is Christmas after all. So, of course, the, the company wants to do their own thing. I mean, technically, this was on a Disney theme park, I guess. And at the Disney resorts, to be most precise, I guess. But still, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Because when it comes to Disney resort, more Disney resorts and the Disney theme parks, uh, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of people anyway. There's gonna be a truck ton of people coming. This is gonna be going there and spend a lot of money, getting some drinks, getting some food or whatever. Of course, it, it, they're gonna do something like this. Business wise, it makes sense. People already spend out a lot of money during Christmas when you think about it. So of course, this kind of thing is, is expected. I mean, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. I mean, yes, yeah, there's an argument to be made where a lot of people felt that. Uh, Christmas became too much of a commercial. It being commercialized too much, but I'm not here to argue of that really. Like one one way or another, I'm not here to make that argument that 
or it has become too much of a commercial or nor it hasn't become too much of a commercial. I'm not here to argue that, just throwing it out there, okay? I'm not here to make that statement one way or another. I'm just trying to say that it makes sense business-wise for them to do this because of the fact that there's people, a lot of people attending the theme parks when you think about it. So, of course, they're going to do this. It's a, it's a part of brand anyway. And the studio has been involving in this holiday ever since Walt Disney was alive. It was since Disney was alive. So it's not like a, a brand new thing that they've been doing. Because they've been doing this like eons on eons when you think about it. So, of course, it's going to continue that trend even when he's not around anymore. So that, that does make sense. You know, drinks. Got my eggnog. Yeah. Got my eggnog. Oh, yeah. Finally, though, it took, it took me a, it finally, though, it took me a hot minute, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a thing, folks. Anyway, this was pretty good. I like what Warpy Garbo was trying to do. And. I mean, I don't, I don't bring her up that often, really, on this channel. Even though she has, she has a lot, plenty, of, she has some stuff involving Disney. So you think I would have uh, brought her up more often, but whatever, I guess. Well, the case is, I just brought up like one from time to time, though, not very often at all. But anyway, maybe should have, I guess, whatever. But anyway, I did think that this was a nicely put together little thing that we're trying to do. It was nice. It was it wasn't too bad. I like I like to get in the in a mood, to get in that whole thing with the with the with the people who work there, to interact with folks, of course. That's definitely the thing. But yeah, I like that. That was that was really cool. I really liked the war trying to do and whatnot. So I did think that was definitely a great thing they had there. Oh yeah. Awesome. Anyway, I did like how they were trying to Put this entire thing together. Uh, the editing was actually pretty good. The editing was actually quite nice here. I like the editing here. So I'm mentioning the fact because I know a lot of people like to bring up the fact that would editing make or break a movie? And that's very true. Editing is very important. It's just as important as filming your documentary or movie or whatever. Editing is very important. That's like the most obvious thing ever. Which it is, but you'd be surprised on how a lot of people don't get that. You'd be surprised on how many people just don't realize that, like at all. Like what? When you're putting this thing together, you have to have a good editing skills, of course. You have to. You absolutely must. But anyway, that's the thing, though. Whatever. I like this. What we're trying to do. What we're trying to aim for with all the all the everyone involved here. Obviously, I like that was really that was really great. I did like how they were trying to keep the music here. That's still a good thing there. I like the music that was done here. Obviously, I did like the music, of course. Even though I'm not really a musical person, really, like at all. Just just throwing it out there, I'm not really a musical person, like at all. But yeah, I just have to bring this up anyway because I'm supposed to be reviewing stuff anyway. When you think about it, that's what I do. I, that, that's definitely true. Anyway. But yeah, I would recommend this. If you're a fan of Disney, then I said check on Disney Plus. If you assume you have this uh, streaming service, I don't know if this ever came out in physical media, like on a DVD or Blu-ray. Maybe yes, I don't know. But my point is, I saw this in Disney Plus. This is what I mean. I saw this on Disney Plus here, just, just so you know. But yeah, all together, I liked it. I really did. I'll give this a overall rating. I have a 7.0. I think it's a 7.0 turn for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Uh-huh.